Hey guys, welcome back to the Project DIY channel. On today's project, I'm going to show you how to put roof rack crossbars on your 2020 Toyota RAV4. Let's get started. Twenty twenty RAV four LE all wheel drive. This is just the LE version, so there's nothing exciting really about it. Sort of a plain Jane model. Now I bought this vehicle to drive back and forth to work. Um, I drive about one hundred and twenty miles a day round trip, and gas mileage. Uh, was a huge problem for me. Uh, this car gets so far about 34, 35 miles per gallon and it will pay for itself pretty quickly. All right, in an effort to try to make this RAV4 LE look a little better, I'm gonna do a series of upgrades on it and put those on video. Today, I'm gonna start with roof rack crossbars. Now this RAV came with a roof rack already these are plastic and they're really not very substantial for hauling anything. So what I've got is a set of roof rack crossbars from Amazon. Now these will go, these will mount to the roof rack. They'll go across here and across over here and they'll give you a better place to mount suitcases or anything you want to put on top of your uh, of your RAV. These are more substantial than these small plastic things. Now I personally will probably never use these, to be honest with you. Um, I just like the look of them. I think they look cool on the top. So I'm going to put them on there and see what they look like. All right, to get started, I've already laid these out on the roof of my RAV. And the bottoms of the feet, right there, are labeled with where these go. Each one of them is labeled front right, front left, rear right, and rear left. Also, crossbars, as you can see, are labeled right front, left front, and in the center it has which way is forward. So you really can't get these wrong. The rear has the same thing. Uh, it has which side goes where and which side is forward. So the plan for installing these is on the current roof rack rails up here. There's a plastic cover there, pops out. These feet mount uh, inside of here. There's already a hole there for them. Just bolt them down. And also the bottom of the mounts have slots in them. And the rails themselves have screw holes in them. So each rail will mount to each foot, back and front. And then once you've got that, pop these covers off. These feet mount down inside of here. Pop a bolt in it. Pop the cover back on. Which, by the way, this these all four of these uh, covers are keyed with the same key. Uh, I'm assuming that's to prevent people from stealing them. And once we've got all that done, roof rack will be on, be ready to use. Now to get this cover off, there's a little slot right here inside. We'll put a plastic spudging tool in there, pop that up, and drop it. <laughs> pop that up and down inside of here, as you can see, there's a peg for alignment, and there's a hole for um, a bolt to go through. So that's where you'll mount those feet, and you don't put the cover back on. The fit, foot itself covers it up. Set that in there and show you what that looks like. Like that. And then the bar attaches to this.
rack on there. I like the look of a roof rack on a vehicle. All right, guys, these went on pretty easy. Not a big deal at all. Of course, you saw me lay all this out and attach the feet, the crossbars on both sides. Lightly put the screws in. Uh, put the gaskets on the feet. Put the feet in the holes. Line them up on both sides. Make sure the distance was correct. Put the bolts in the feet. Tighten them down. And then lastly, well, second to last, I went back and tightened these screws under here that hold this crossbar to the feet. Uh, that way that's still loose and the distance between the two sides can just set where it needs to set in order to make these fit in the holes. And then lastly, put the covers on. And like I said, these are locking covers. There's a key that fits all four of them. Keeps somebody from trying to steal it, which I don't think stealing a roof rack is a thing, but maybe you never know. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned something. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And while you're doing all that, I think you should watch this video.